Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Sorry for the spam. I, I'm sorry, I don't I don't like to do this, but we, we have it. We have a brand new model preview for the Sisters of Battle. And I've got to say, look, you can see the model now in the background. This is probably one of my most favorite models I've ever witnessed. It's 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 gorgeous. It's it's a such a nice fantastic model it is it is so cool i myself i'm a bit on the fence of collecting sisters at the moment because um, i'm going fully with the primaris i'm doing primaris everything but stuff like this is really tipping me over to start like a little mini sister force because like i said it's a gorgeous model right let's jump in and let's go through the article and it gives us a little bit of a story behind this model as well so it states in the article when such a fate befalls one sister of battle of the adeptus sororitas they are attended by a sister hospitilla a grim and somber matron whose duty is to tend the wounded or even spiritual needs of the dying today we're showing you the sneak preview of the new Hospitella miniature as she continues to take shape. Again, this is the image in the background. Every, just, just everything about this, like the way she's got the little book, she's got the holding the little sister symbol. I love like the little cloaked effect it's got on, and it's got the sister like headband around there, and of course you've got like the servo arm with all the needles sticking out. You've got, of course, the doves. Sisters love doves, and there's doves in like all the sister stuff. It's like kind of like, you know, like how holy they are. I think it symbolizes and stuff like that. Like they're carrying some parchments and stuff, so you can just you write all the stuff. But even though that model is amazing, the base is equally amazing as well. Just 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 look at this base. Look at the detail on this base is a sister dying on the base and it's 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 incredible it's incredible it really is awesome we actually get some information about the uh, the bottom of the base um it says the design creates a sense of drama telling a story much like displayed by the primaries or primaries apothecary wait for, let me just say i do not like the base of the primaries apothecary for the simple fact it, it's a great sculpt it's an amazing sculpt but i hate the way the primaries guy is just like standing on his armor i don't know why but i find that so disrespectful like this guy is bled for the chapter and you just gotta go like stand on his armor like he's just like a piece of rubble no 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 we take care of our brothers we don't treat them like trash so the story at the base it says it appears that the battle sister at her feet is beyond saving as the hospitaller is clearly ministering a final benediction to commend her charge's soul to the emperor reading a passage from the sacred tome clutched in her left hand with her last well, sorry, with, with the last of her strength, the mortally wounded battle sister is offering up her immortal spirit with an outstretched hand. After all, a warrior of the Adeptus Sororitas would never let a minor thing like dying get in the way of showing her dedication to the master of mankind. And it does. It, it, re it really does look awesome. Like, the, the, like, a hand in the air, she's clutching like a little rosemary, like... Um, um, Adeptus symbol, like in a hand and stuff, and yeah, it, I, yeah, it totally, it totally tells that story and the model. Every, I, I keep, I just keep repeating myself. Everything about this is just sheer awesome sauce. And right at the end of the article, we have a closer version of the image, but this time it shows uh, the helmeted version. When I say helmeted version, it's got like a, a little respirator. You can still see like uh, our eyes and stuff. It's not like full on face mask covered. It's like a, you know, Bane rebreather. Ha <laughs> ha, adopted the holiest of the Emperor, yes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we can actually see like a, a little Narfisium under a, a book and stuff, which I thought is pretty cool. Maybe that's like a nod to Space Marines. I don't know if they like um, had this previously, uh, like, because this one like is more or less like a one form reference, I personally think, of the Space Marine one, where I think before they just had like a little saw and stuff. But hey, it's the Imperium. I'm sure they got to share technology and all that kind of stuff. One thing I really do like about this, now I can see like the, like the fully zoomed in version, is definitely like, like what 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 do we call it? Like a, a head cape or something? I have no idea what to call it. I think that really, really is awesome. I think it really like adds to the character. Like, you know, it's just, it's like... I don't know, it's, it's just something about capes I like, and when you put it on your head, it makes everything more awesome. The armor is cool, I love like all the little symbols of the sororitas and stuff, I, I, I always forget what they're called. They're called something, and I, I, I have, yeah, please tell me in the comments. And um, of course she's holding like a holy icon in the other one, I'm sure that is an icon of Rogel Dawn. Rogel Dawn returned to tabletop, confirmed in that image, there we go. Don't shout at me, I am clutching at straws. I think the big question is now, is what the hell 
is going to be happening with the sisters when it comes to their launch because we know it's going to be this year gw confirmed it that the sisters will be launching this year and again this image that you're seeing is not a you know, um, a printed out model or, um, a, a, well, it is a sculpted model, but it's 3D sculpted. It's not like it's been put in plastic form. So I'm just wondering, when is the sister launch going to be coming? It definitely won't be December. I cannot see it coming December for the simple reason that when GW come to do their December uh, releases and stuff like that, it's more stuff like Battle Force box sets and like paint bundles and like gift sets and all that kind of stuff because they know it's Christmas time and they want you to come in and start buying these box sets for like friends, family or yourself to like, you know, save money on and all that kind of stuff. So I don't see a full army releasing that time because that will take a lot of the sales away from those type of box deals and stuff like that i'm gonna say it's going to be novemberish it's probably going to come here october now that i've said it but I'm, I'm going to say november november because just for the simple fact that we haven't really seen them all in plastic format as of yet they're still 3d renders um so I'm, I'm gonna leave it till like the last month they can and november will be like the sister month and that's when they'll be fully deploying on the on the battlefield for you to you know grab in grab all the models because don't forget again this is a full model refresh this is not like just one or two models it's a full on range refresh every model you can think of in the sister of battle force is getting redesigned and they are adding new models as well when i say new models like new new models so um yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a very eventful time when these uh chaps actually do drop and uh, people start slinging money at them i for one I'm probably not going to be invested in it, like I said, but it's 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 so close for me to just being pushed over the other side of the fence and just doing a small little sister force. Maybe if I see some more of the, the stuff that's previewed, I, I, I really want to see the vehicles and stuff like that before I really um, uh, take a dive in. Because, again, there's so much primary stuff going out and stuff like that. One thing I actually did forget to mention, I'm going to mention right now, is I wonder if the sister stuff is going to be linked in with the whole Awakening stuff. Because, again, um, it's, there was kind of a, you know, like the, um, everyone said the Adeptus Telepathica symbol attached to it. Uh, so I'm wondering if that's going to be like a part of the, the whole reveal for the sisters or they're going to take part in it. If it is a narrative campaign. Of course, Nova is two weeks away as well. So maybe we're going to get some more bigger previews of this at the Nova event. Nova, if you don't know, is a, a massive event in, in the US. I, I recently just spoke about this in my other video. So sorry if I'm going over it again. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that is a really big place to start showing previews off and all that kind of jazz. So maybe we're going to see more sister stuff there. And uh, like I mentioned in my previous video, like more awakening stuff and it'll tie into the sisters. All that stuff that we expect from 40k. Hopefully it happens at Nova, but I'm really hoping for more Primaris. I'm sorry, don't judge me. All right, Chaparudios, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and feedback, of course, about the model below. Are you a sister fan? Are you not a sister fan? What do you think of this model? Again, I think it's one of the best models I've seen designed by the like the 40k team. It's, it's just everything... The, the, the character, the base, the little story they put out, it really makes you think, wow, this is a fantastic, amazing model. But again, I'm, people are different, and I'm sure some people are going to hate it and think, ah, I shall throw it in the trash because I don't like sisters. But let, let me know what you think about the sisters. When do you think the sisters are going to be launched? That is, again, that that I think that's the million dollar question. When are the sisters coming? There should be a prize, really. Should, should, should be trying to do like a prize, whoever guesses the, like, the right day month maybe time and stuff of the launch who oh, no, knows bloody knows right thank you for coming thank you for watching again thank you um for um leaving comments and stuff as we always do down below and we'll have a nice little chat down there see you now and bye bye